Yeah, no, she's always a carrier as well, like a queen. So I do not now understand. I actually wanted you to prove that I wasn't on your side in all of this. Self dignity is very, very important. If I give you pity, where's my precious yellow? You don't break your orange, go carry this. You want to climb up? No. The back is going to break. <laughs> potential. If you don't see your potential, then. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is from Pop with Lillian updating you with all the midnight gist that you missed. So the BFFs have moved upstairs. By the BFFs I mean fraud and angel because white man is still downstairs and seeing wits are doing so moving upstairs the first of all complained about how dirty every year was and they decided to go into a clean up messy and fraud after cleaning up thoroughly decided to take their shower eat and while eating then the gist started rolling in so messy made the reference to venita and that decoli and she said she doesn't understand why venita would want someone else you know to get a pad on me and not her own cousin <laughs> And Freud said, well, that is still confusing the whole, you know, meeting at the all of a sudden and here you are trying to even be up while he's being pardoned. And they went ahead, you know, to share a laugh. And after that, Mercy said that the whole thing that surprised her was even when Venita comforted her in the bedroom on how she relates with a that she's crossing boundaries. And Freud said, come on. Does she even think Adekule is your spec in the first place? <laughs> well, Messi said since she doesn't want uh, Neo to get a pardon and Neo as well doesn't want Venita to get a pardon, that is not them that will not come and carry it on their head. It's better they give it to someone else. And while having this discussion, Angel came in to tell them that she really thinks Venita is beefing her because since the whole pardon meeting, Venita has not been talking to her. And Mercy laughed and said, oh, were you the one that told her you pardoned doing? Because me, I told Venita I pardoned adequately. And they all laughed about it again. And Angel added that he, she guessed it's Ike that told her because she told Ike who she pardoned. And Mercy was like, oh, you know, that's the mistake. And Fred was like, why would she even beef you over who you pardoned or not? that she can't even do that to him and Messi said of course you know she did look face before she knows who to be and all that meanwhile fraud said he can't even understand what venita sees in adequately that had it been this is their first time in biggie's house he would say okay maybe first time and because the house has a way of you know the whole ac and everything has a way of making people boot up and trying to be in a shape but come on, this is their second time here. That is yet to find what is not the clay that is making Venita go crazy. And he said, anyway, it's less for her because she, he sees Venita as a queen. And she's even supposed to carry herself as a queen and not the whole thing she's doing with Adekule. And Mercy said, honestly, she's shocked on how, you know, the both of them have been controlling each other. Oh, this person... You know, go play the game and the other person be like, oh, you sit down while I do this or you do this while I do that. <laughs> Meanwhile, downstairs, Alex has told Perry that she doesn't like the new him. That she still prefers the Perry of the first week. That all of a sudden, he has returned to the Perry of their season. You know, the whole brutal thing, being so conscious about the game. That is there no way he can loosen up or even be that they can all make the game healthier. And then Alex made reference to today's game and even told Perry that you know that Ilebaye is still feeling hot based on what you did to her. Well, not because of a particular person, like particularly <laughs> Perry went ahead to explain to Alex why he is so interested in this game and even told her that it's the house that is turning him into this way and that he hasn't changed to the old parent that 
that the old parent won't even feel bad after what happened at today's game. And the parent even told Alex that he has talked to Ilibaye, that Ilibaye will be fine. After that, Alex advised Perret to go take a shower. And while Perret said he's too tired to even have a cold shower, Alex, you know, offered to even boil water for him so he can take a hot shower. Alex added that with all to this game, the whole sun thing, that you can just go to bed like this. Meanwhile, Doyin also went ahead to tell Sissy about the whole cross thing crushing on her. Doyin earlier on has told Ilebaye that Cross is hitting on her and asking her out. Although, when she was having this discussion with Ilebaye, Ilebaye told her to be very honest with her. Does she like Cross and does she want to have anything to do with Cross? And while Doyin said no, that left to her, she just wants to be just friends with Cross. That she feels dating Cross, she will hurt Cross. And for the fact that Cross has already you know, warmed up to her friend in Libaye, that she doesn't see any need of doing anything with cross again in this house. And the Libaye said, fine, that outside of the house, she doesn't care, no problem. But inside of here, you know, she should just keep it cordial. And, <laughs> and don't even agree to say yes, definitely, maybe outside of here, something might come up, they might start talking to each other and all that. And now, doing talking to Sissy, telling Sissy that even when she came out of the house in her season, that she heard that Cross campaigned for her and all that, that Cross genuinely likes her. And now she's telling Sissy that she's a bit confused. She doesn't know whether it's a strategy for the game or whether to separate her friendship with Ili Baye and all that, that she's just trying to be careful. But then Sissy said no, that she doesn't think Cross and Ilibaye are really a thing. That she should try and find out from Ilibaye that she doesn't really see them as being that two together and all that. <laughs> this is yeah. But why why doing was saying this? She said, Oh, that the first time Cross prophesied his love for her. Cross was actually drunk, so she thought maybe Cross was joking, or maybe that's Cross the boss. But then Cross telling her again, you know, this time around he wasn't drunk, and telling her how he genuinely cared about her and all that. But doing added that dating Cross, she might end up hurting him. That if it was kid, well, it would be a different case. But Cross. She sees Cross as a very innocent person. And Sis even told her that hmm, Cross is not that innocent too. <laughs> On the other hand, Ile Baye tried to talk to White Money about his beef with Sissy. And White Money cleared her immediately that she, he can never bear grudges with anybody in this house. That this house is too small for anyone to bear grudges. That's why when anybody annoys him, he just move on. Because before you know it, tasks might even come up and you'll be in the same group with this person. And he went ahead to tell Ile Baye that had it been he's angry with Sissy, he won't even be offering her food. <laughs> and while Ile Baye went ahead to tell White Money that even Sissy has been rejecting your food, White Money added that he was just angry with the way Sissy was talking to him. That he knows that outside of this house, Sissy can't talk to him in that manner. But the one that pissed him really off was on that wager task. That Sissy kept insulting everybody. Knowing fully well they, need, they needed her for that task since she was the director at the moment. That that was why he, White Money, called Cross. And even why Cross explained that Sissy has also insulted him that day. He just said, okay, you know what? That maybe it's because of jovialness that leads to this insult. Maybe they will just have to be talking to Sissy only when task or wager is involved. White Money also added that he's always careful. He doesn't like insulting women because he knows his mouth can be really bad. That he tries as much as to respect everybody. Ilebaye went ahead to ask White Money that when other housemates 
approached you for you to nominate me for the pardon me what did you do and white money told him that he told them no because he doesn't want to involve himself in any alliance and he doesn't like people telling him what to do that he will always look out for her in Libai, but then people shouldn't tell him what to do at the moment that anytime he goes in there and feels like to pardon you he will do that but let it not be a group of people telling him oh to do this or play to their bid and speaking of alliances white money also advised cross to be very careful and not allow himself to be a tool for people's strategy and when cross told white money that one thing about him is that he barely knows people's mind white money now told him and that's the main reason why you should act like a fool and allow people not to toil with you that anything they tell you say yes but go ahead and do what's on your mind because everybody here is playing a game and if you're not careful you will be used to actualize that game that this is just him giving you a brotherly advice that he will always look out for you that in fact he will make sure when it comes to food you will feed well in this house he has taken that upon himself but you should shine your eyes in this game that one thing with you is that you're pure-hearted you are always open-minded with everybody but then he should stop it and know that this is a game and everybody is playing this game meanwhile perry has swore that he will deal with everyone that tried to sabotage him winning the hoh game today and doing said you know one thing about you that you were overconfident you felt oh you can do this you are just approaching the people you felt that matters but you never even came to me to try to convince me or oh, to try work with you in order to win this HOH. But then he said he doesn't care that for everybody that, you know, tried to play a funny game towards him regarding this game, that he will surely pay them in their own coin. Cross had a discussion with Kid and told Kid that he misses his ex-girlfriend and even told Kid that they dated for two years, broke up, and let her date it again that their both families are not making things easier for them but he somehow really wants to go back to this his ex and at this point i was like uh uh don't be the same cross way doing say <laughs> he wants her and the kid advised cross as well saying is it the house that is making you miss your ex or have you been missing her even before you got into the house <laughs> And very early on in the game, but what you and I think so? At least and I was talking to you. Kid went ahead to tell Cross that whatever it is, maybe when you're out of the house, you should try and organize a dinner date and go settle with your ex. Wrapping up tonight, gist with that of Angel confiding in fraud that she's tired of Summer, that she has really tried her best. That for how long will Summer continue to behave like this? anytime nomination or pardon me or head of house game is up that she really thinks he's having a panic attack although he keeps denying it even anytime it happens that she has ever told summer see that i believe that before coming into the house you must have made up your mind that things like this would come up that this is not your first time in the house or then just said oh maybe he didn't have this experience in his own time but then he has to man up and know what's ahead of him. And she went ahead to tell Fro that she herself can be emotional. That the last time she was in this house, she was really emotional. And this time around, she's trying to be a woman and work on her emotions. That she really thinks Soma should do that. That she can't help him again. Because Soma does not even see the reason to be helped in his own self. Well... Fraud himself added that Soma is a very emotional person, but then he expects him as well to man up. And just say it's so fortunate that she herself cannot help Soma. That the only way Soma was okay was begging her to call him into the diary room to try to calm him down. Meanwhile, Venita and her boo-boo Adekule seems to be having the best time of their life as Venita even tried to back Adekule. After Adekule has spent the night giving her a rundown of what really played out in the HOH games in the arena. 
anyways they should have fun thank you for listening and please do well to give this video a like if you enjoyed the whole gist and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye <laughs> Check, check, my darling. Jesus, what's going on?